what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here as you saw in the thumbnail if you read it yes we're going to be talking about a scene that seems like it's been shot for jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn um we know that the creeper truck is supposed to be back then we know that they built their own creeper truck as many of you have seen from the images if you've seen those images of the one they're using on screen i know the jeepers creepers of brazil page recently shared some new images of it today on that instagram page so go ahead and check those out uh we know that they built it from scratch it looks like a decent replica of the truck we've known and seen in the franchise in the previous films only only detail that sticks out really to me are the noticeable size difference in the wheels you can tell that they're relatively smaller than before but whatever <laughs> just getting into what i want to talk about there has apparently been a scene that has been shot who knows if it'll actually be featured in the film but it's a scene where the creeper truck will be running into something and just exploding or have a slight explosion we know some type of crash will go down with this truck and it'll have some type of small explosion to it maybe it'll go up in flames uh maybe there's something else that wasn't shown in the video that i've seen if you want to see this video go ahead and get message me on instagram and twitter it's just a video of the truck blowing up uh it is on youtube somewhere so i'll also leave a i'll leave a link to that if i can refine that link i'll leave a link to that but yeah there's going to be a scene where the truck is apparently going to just run into something and it's going to have a small explosion now whether or not this has to do with the creeper chasing someone my guess is that he's got to be chasing somebody i don't see him crashing his truck for nothing so he's got to be chasing someone or something happens where he gets distracted while driving and he just crashes for whatever reason or another and his truck blows up from the impact so what i also want to talk about is that's very reminiscent to what was going to be happening at the end of the original film because we know due to budget cuts they changed the ending of the original film originally trisha and Derry were going to escape from the police station they were going to take the creepers truck trisha was going to end up getting out of the truck but Derry would end up driving the truck of the creeper into like a train and the train would collide with the truck and it would blow up and then we would come to find later on that the same end happened. Basically, the creeper took Derry from the truck and he killed him. There was going to be some type of explosion involving the truck at the end of the original film, but that got changed due to budget cuts. So I find it a little interesting that they're doing something kind of reminiscent to that. Not trying, necessarily saying they're trying to pay homage to that, but I think it's just interesting that we have something kind of similar to that in a way that's being featured in the Reborn film if it gets kept in the final cut. The other thing I want to talk about was people who are speculating that Richard Brake could be playing the Creeper in this new fourth entry for Jeepers Creepers. Now, still, we don't know who is going to be playing the Creeper. Don't know if Jonathan Breck will officially be back or not. I'm leaning more towards he won't be back. That's just me. I'm leaning more towards that. Now, Richard Brake, though, I haven't seen him in anything substantial since Game of Thrones and Three from Hell. And I think he was in 31. I think he was also the paramedic in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 that kept just screaming profanities for like a whole minute straight until Michael Myers killed him. Correct me if I'm wrong. Could have sworn that was him. He's tall enough to play the creeper. My only thing is he's very thin. Now, unless they are planning to have him play the creeper when he's reawakening because he's skin and bones now. Uh maybe they'll have him do that and then someone else will play the creeper throughout the rest of the film maybe there's multiple people that are going to play the creeper in this movie i don't know why but that's always something that's possible other than just stunt doubles maybe there's going to be multiple people playing the creeper in this film who knows but richard brake if he's playing the creeper i think he would do a great job i would just be interested to see how they might fill him in a bit because i do believe that that actor is a little thin to play the creeper he's a little thin uh don't think he's a bad actor but i just think he's a little thin i haven't seen him in anything really substantial since game of thrones he's been in some other films like batman begins other things that i've seen of him been seeing him since i was little i just don't if he's the creeper because what a lot of other people mentioned is that those face castings or those face moldings that i'm sure plenty of you have seen by now they think that that looks like him those face castings of course they don't look like breck they don't look like jonathan breck except one of the very last ones i something about that one just looks like breck it might just be because they've done an amazing job with the makeup and anyone can look good in creeper makeup depending on how you do it 
but they're saying that they think those face castings look like Richard Brake. So we'll see who ends up playing the creeper. Uh, nothing official that it is him or not. He does reside in the UK. We know parts of the film were shot in the UK. So we'll see how true any of that ends up being, if he's involved or not. We'll learn something about who is involved in this film one way or another, because we're going to get it this year. So coming fresh off of that D Wallace stuff that I talked about yesterday in my last video, uh, if any one of you can figure out who that man is with D Wallace in that picture, you are going to help me because for the love of God, I swear that that person in the car with her in that image looks very familiar. The features all look resemblant of someone that I have seen in previous films. I cannot think of his name though. So if any of you have any guess as to who that person is with D Wallace in that image, please message me. And if you would like to see this, this video of the truck crashing that they shot for Jeepers Creepers 4, message me on Instagram or Twitter, or just click the link in the description and go to, to uh, go to the link that I'm going to leave in the description for the video that's on YouTube somewhere. But that's all I have for this one. The Creeper truck blowing up again, reminiscent to what they were going to do almost if the budget had not been cut in half with the original film so i like these little nods that i i think that they're trying to do to things that should have happened in the past homages to other characters kenny and darla we're, looks like we're getting another interracial character to carry this film uh i did also want to speculate that what if one of these main characters chaser lane is somehow connected to someone from the poho county area maybe they have family that have fallen victim to the creeper maybe that's the thing but of course we'll know we'll learn more about these characters in the film chase and her permanent not chase lane and her premonitions will of course be the driving force behind a lot of this film and then i'm going to bet that lane's abduction by, by the creeper is going to be what leads to us following chase as he tries tries to save his girlfriend uh but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to seeing the creeper truck again are you looking forward to seeing this explosion scene if it gets left in the film uh what do you think is going to happen do you think that we'll end up getting something that would tie these new lead characters into past characters if you haven't already make sure you again subscribe turn on post notifications that never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and go ahead and join this facebook group that i'm also going to leave down in the comment section if you want to stay up to date on anything about this film or just talk horror related topics with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video